Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Schwampy, and today we're gonna sketch. One of the most fun parts about art, for me, I mean, is sketching, drawing. Basically drawing. I love lines, I love to draw, um, I just spend hours and hours drawing different things. But even though that drawing is such an important part to me, it still requires practice. Every, like every other skill, right? No matter how good you get, you can always be better. So one of the things that I personally like to do whenever I get into kind of a little bit of a slump or just feel like it's a bad time to you know, brush up on my skills is studying and practicing sketching and practicing a specific part that isn't going so well. So for today, I am going to be practicing to draw plates and pots and stuff like that because that always kind of doesn't really work out the way that it, uh, I would like it to or the way, well, it doesn't look that great and I want to practice and study it. So if there's something that you would like to practice, I suggest pick up a pen and let's practice together. So one of the first things I do is go to ye old Pinterest and <laughs> gather up some reference photos. It would be best to create your own photos and try to take your own pictures and try to, um, you know, create your own references. But in in a case where that is impossible, the next best thing is to try and find some photographs. So get a bunch of photographs, look at them, study them, analyze them, and get sketching. One of the things that also helped me a lot when I'm sketching, and um, it's like a little trick, but it's not a little trick. Is it a little trick? I don't know. Basically, what I like to do is try to imagine the object in 3D space before I actually start sketching it. And why this helps is because it allows you to really understand the object and drawing it better. It's really, a, I guess the best way to describe it, describe bleh, sorry, I'm getting a little bit tongue-tied. Uh, it's not my day for talking. Okay, so. The best way to describe it is when you are able to imagine an object or whatever you're drawing in 3D space, you are able to understand how it functions and you are able to understand its shape. And thus, when you're sketching it, when you're drawing it, it's easier to understand what kind of uh, brush strokes or what kind of pencil strokes or whatever you're using is going to create the shape you desire. So, it's a good thing for you to sit down and really analyze something before you get sketching. There is a um, kind of a, a challenge or maybe a, a practice that you can do if you're having a little bit of a problem, having a little bit of a pro um, if it's a little bit difficult for you to start sketching right away and uh, you're not really sure how to analyze an object, there's a little thing you can do. So the first step is to pick an object. You can pick something from your room or, you know, whatever you like, but it has to be an object you can touch, you can feel, right? It's not a photograph, right? So it's, um, you know, in real life object. Pick an object, put on a timer, set the timer for a couple of minutes, right? And look at it touch it, pick it up, you know, take a look throw, through all of the sizes. Sorry, my speaking today, not good. <sighs> okay, so pick up the object, try to see it through every size, and once the timer goes off, set your timer again for the same amount of minutes and try to draw it. After that, set another timer for even less minutes, take a look at it again, um, analyze it again, right? And when the timer goes off, set another timer and this time put away the object so you don't see it and redraw it again. Now, there's, of course, you don't have to follow these exact steps. You can adapt it to any way that you want to, but the, uh, the point is to limit the time that you're 
looking at something, thus making your brain um, pay more attention in helping you focus more on the object, thus helping you to draw it and memorize it and analyze it better. So if you're ever in a slump and you don't really know how to improve your sketching abilities, try it out and I hope it helps. There's, of course, many different ways to learn how to sketch and there's many different ways to improve these skills, but it basically boils down to figuring out what works for you and figuring out how your brain works. Another kind of tip or uh, maybe something to consider before you go into sketching, before you start drawing objects, is another little thing that has helped me and I hope it'll help you and that is uh, simplifying an object. Taking an object and try to break it down into simpler shapes like circles, um, squares and stuff like that, Sim simple geographical shapes and drawing those shapes as your kind of draft sketch and then working from that and building a uh, drawing from that. Because often a lot of complex uh, objects may be a little bit too difficult for us to understand and breaking them down into sim simpler things allows us to better understand how the object works and how, um, how to draw it. So, okay, there's another tip. Honestly, I did not think that this is going to be a tips to improve your sketching kind of video, but here we are, you know, going with the flow. Another thing that's also um, can help is creating kind of like uh, guidelines like I did here. Uh, thinking more structurally and giving yourself like these little uh, lines that will help you uh, trying to put everything together. That was a really bad sentence. Okay, let me try this again. So creating guidelines and templates beforehand right? Structurally decomposing your image before you go in and drawing them. So this will help you understand how much space you will need for a drawing and how much uh, physical space you need uh, for the drawing to look right and, you know, for it to be symmetrical or getting the shape properly, you know, and these kind of things. So creating guidelines can really help. And tip number three, since we're already here, and it may not be a tip number three, it could be number four, I don't know, I wasn't counting. Another tip is practice. Practice, 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 and mindfully practice. It's not just about spending as much time drawing, because um, yeah, sure, that's going to make you uh, create stamina for drawing, but it won't improve your skills. It won't improve your skill set. Mindfully practicing and mindfully deciding and creating kind of a practice a challenge for yourself can heavily improve your skills and um, become a better artist. So kitties, uh, that's it. I don't have any more tips. If you have any questions or if uh, there's anything else or if you want to, you know, share your own tips, that'd be fantastic. The more tips you learn and the more tips you try out can help you decide what actually works for you and what can be a good practice for you. So if you feel like sharing your tips and things that helped you develop your sketching skills, feel free to write them down below. I would love to you know, talk with you more. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna wish you a happy day. Have a wonderful day. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, that's it. Until next time, much love.